Thus begins our final route for five, Kaylee. This opened the magic in our heart. Time with her was butterscotch. This harpy was quite possibly the first child from our school to come up to and befriend us. I'll never forget the smile on her face because it was enchanting. Our queen shared our innocence when she smiled, but Kaylee? Kaylee's smile held mystery. It held secrets we can't grasp to this day. Kaylee saw a different potential latent within us and was determined to bring it out. It may sound too complex to come from the smile and the brain of a five-year-old, but to innocence, a blooming darkness seems vast as well as captivating. My shy personality overpowered as usual, but Kaylee, she took my hand and claimed a kiss that almost brought me to tears. Kaylee's kiss terrified me. It was not one I understood. It isolated my soul. Kisses were special treats, permissible to the ones you loved. But Kaylee, she did more than violate my soul. She placed a piece of herself in me. It was the first black magic I had truly been exposed to. The dark art of words known as manipulation. Kaylee claimed me as her husband, a privilege I believed to be bestowed upon me, when in reality, the little king had become a servant. Not now, but in time, I would come to learn not all winged creatures are the same, and my kind was being enslaved by her kind. It was something that happened for generations. Kaylee stayed with me, doing as she pleased for some time. You see, we lived in the same location, where the inhabitants were mostly the lower class, like us demons and harpies. Kaylee came for me to my fortress every day. She established her younger sister as our child, herself as mother, and me as father. I lived losing spirit for the first time. I graduated from our school of sorrow into a cesspool of misery. All I wanted was my freedom back. I craved it so desperately that I believed anything out of the ordinary would be it. Thus the unusual came. Kaylee had a present for me. The present was not so unusual. It was another kiss. Then the unusual came. When Kaylee's tongue entered my mouth, I hated it. Kaylee grabbed my sides and I wanted to be free. Kaylee's hands probed my body and my fear rose. Kaylee's hand entered my pants and I had had enough. The servant groomed to be iron cried and Kaylee grabbed the last of my dignity my fear exploded. I pushed Kaylee away and ran. I broke the spell. But in all that time, my land rotted and my castle became a dungeon. I hid under the table crying. In the dungeon, the bars blocked out everyone. My mother who coddled me for the earliest of my days. The outside world and especially the truth. Every time Kaylee came, I wasn't home. A spell of lies I told my mother. I needed her in my time of weakness. But in order to feed me and keep me alive, she had to sacrifice the time needed to save my sinking heart. So in each corner shrouded by shadows, I hid my remnants of innocence. I was born anew. A being of caution, I became perception, and I would no longer fall victim to the naivete of a child's light. After all, there's no better place to study the black than the dark.